Hey, what's up, guys? This is Traveling Eddie, and we're going places. Today we are here at Carlos R. Restrepo. This is an old complex, not gated, but with tower blocks here, all the way like 40 years. I remember coming here when I was 14 because my cousin and my dad's cousin and her children used to live in that apartment or that apartment. I remember coming here and spending like a week back in the summer of 86. It was awesome. So this is a cultural experience. Let me put my thing back on so people don't get cranky. Uh, Avenida Colombia, Calle Colombia is right over there. And uh, this is the uh, local experience. And Sudamericana is on the other side. Exito Colombia is about four blocks up. So let's check it out. Let's go and let's see. This is the local experience. And I'm gonna see if I can come back here tonight. And this at night, uh, usually is bumping and thumping. This weekend, we don't have a lockdown. Today is May 15th, 2021. They got a bakery there. This is like a whole little city in itself. And uh, that dude is looking for something to do his little smoke up. You got all kinds of characters around here. And this is only a uh, stone's throw away from uh, downtown Medellin. You just cross over the bridge uh, and the river. Medellin River is in that area, towards that area in that direction. So we have all these things here, Papi Tienda and everything. Uh, remember, if you like this video, give it a like, guys, give it a like. And there's a cultural center here and everything. And they're even talking about renting rooms out here, like a little sign here. Uh, look at this, a, a mutant bookshop. Se rien habitación para dama for a woman, but the information was ripped off. Anyway, let's go see. Somebody's walking with their doggy there. Poor doggy is a little sick, has a little limp. And this is the cultural center somewhere around here. And I know that the nightlife part, I mean, even though we don't have a lockdown, we do have a curfew at 10 p.m. tonight, Saturday night, Sunday night as well. And even Monday, because Monday's a holiday here. It's a public holiday, religious holiday, something, whatever. Okay, this is one of the shops here that probably moves a lot at night here and everything. So I will try to come back here tonight if it's uh, if the weather permits, because I'm on my motorcycle. Los cebolludos, the hot dogs that have a lot of, of uh, I don't know, uh, what is it? Onions. Oh yeah, so this is part of the nightlife. Yeah, I remember a long time. I haven't been here at night. Look at these guys, they're selling fruit. The papageros and aguacates, avocados, and mangoes, look. Benjamin Jenks, an American in India, one of the mangoes and little bananas. So these are the common guys, they're coming from downtown Medellin. So here's part of the, the stuff that is the nightlife here. They got a charcuteria here, that's where they sell beer and everything, they sit down and drink beer, got the graneros, Carlos R. Restrepo. A lot of shops here, restaurants, as you can see. Oh look, Mexican style, like Dia de los Muertos in Mexico. Flor de something, de sabores. That's the name of this restaurant with the indigenous paints, uh, painting and everything. And Carlos E. Restrepo, this is the name of this area here. Carlos E. Restrepo. And we got a coffee uh, shop here. Look at this, menu of the day, they got the menu of the day here. Today is uh, celery cream soup and some other stuff. Uh, what else? A pizzeria here, pizza and pasta, Brasilia. So we got a lot of stuff. And this is all thumping and bumping at night. And like I said, this is called the Carlos E. Restrepo thing. And Buñolitos, but they're not open right now. Carlos E. Restrepo, that's a meat shop and whatever. There's an ATM right there. So let's see what else. This is an old school place. Here they put up that they're renting a, a room here in this area. And that's the phone number in case you want to call it. Uh, if you want to be here for a month or whatever. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Let's go, see that Centro Cultural is that one, down that way. Facultad de Artes, the arts faculty. And this is all the residential area with all these shops. Let's go see what else we can see. There you got the guy that sells coffee here. Hola, como le va? Bien, gracias. The coffee and other stuff. And some people are going out to do their exercise. I don't remember if there's another section to the fellows that are triple uh, situation here, but let's go see. All of these are tower blocks. No elevators, because they're only four floors high. When it's five floors or higher, they're required by law to have uh, 
uh, an elevator, but these don't, just stairwells and all, and that's it. There goes the papaya avocados and banana man. I saw all that stuff. What do you guys think? What do you think? Remember to leave your questions and comments below. My question is, what do you think of this place so far? What do you, do you like it? What do you think about it? My hair must be messed up because I have my helmet on. But it doesn't matter. So leave your comments down below if you like this video. I think I already said that. Leave a like below. It helps us grow. Let's see what else we have around here. But there's this one uh, residential complex here, gated community called Aqua Agua Marina, and it's fairly new. It's not old, but I guess that was it over there. So I guess that's where the nightlife thing is. I mean, people have been telling me that for years. I mean, I haven't come here since '86 in nighttime, in terms of uh, the nightlife, and that was when I was 14 years old. So you do the math. I'm 49. When was that? So uh, I think that was it. I'm gonna go back towards and get my motorcycle and then see if I can come back here tonight and check it out. In case I can't come back tonight, oh well, at least you got to see it in the daytime. Yeah, yeah, my motorbike is right over there. Yep, I see it. So that was it. That's Carlos R. Estrepo. And let's hope we can come back tonight. If not, remember, every day I have a new video out. So stay tuned for more on Traveling Eddie, and we're going places. So that was Carlos R. Carlos R. Restrepo in the daytime, and on YouTube, we're going strong, strong, strong because of you. Remember to subscribe, that's how we grow. That's how the YouTube algorithm detects us, plus the watch time. If you watch a lot of the video, the whole, of it, or the whole video helps us more, and the likes and the comments. So. You already saw Carlos E. Restrepo, Carlos e. Restrepo at night, and this is in the daytime. Which one do you think is better? Leave your comments down below. Leave your answers down below. Which one do you think is better? In the daytime or at nighttime? It's the same place. Oh, and by the way, Carlos E. Restrepo, you can find them on Airbnb. There are a few places I saw, maybe two or three listings on Airbnb. And if you want to go to downtown Medellin and have, like, uh, a lot of the real city at your fingertips and not El Poblado. Uh, it's walking distance from downtown. Safe in the daytime, not safe at night to walk across that bridge over the Medellin River because there are a lot of uh, homeless people on the other side of the river. Not on the Carlos R. Estrepo side, but on the other side. And uh, some of them are drug addicts, unfortunately, and some of them will try to rob you. And they're just some thieves that are not drug addicts, not homeless people, but they're waiting for their victims to be crossing the bridge at night. So just catch a bus if you're coming from back from downtown Medellin at, uh, after dark, like after the sun sets. Just catch a bus over there at Parque, Be uh, Parque Del Rio. Yeah, the buses that go through Colombia, you'll see them. They say Avenida Colombia, Exito Colombia, if you're going to be staying at Carlos de Restrepo. And you can go all the way up, walking Colombia Street, La Cincuenta, uh, 50th Street, all the way up to the stadium complex if you want to do exercise there. And if you want to go to the other places, if you want to go to the metro, the nearest metro station is the Sudamericana metro station. And all you got to do is walk through Sudamericana. There's another video I made about that previously, uh, a couple of weeks back, about a month and a half back from this video. Check them out. You'll see it. Take care. The dogs are going nuts.